Test, test, test. One, two, one, two. Let's get ready to rumble. Levels good? Yeah, they look good. Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. We upload a lot of sneaker videos, buckets. I think we got to chill on the almost every single day. I, every single week, you're going to find some sneakers. For sure. So you're finally relinquishing your line. Not really, but... Kind of, sort of. For now, I'll go with it. Fine. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Mr. Fomer Simpson. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button. Really does go a long way. Let's us know what kind of videos you want to see, what kind of sneakers you want to see. It also helps the channel continue to grow. We appreciate you for that. Last thing I want to mention, last formality to get out of the way, uncivilizedstore.com. Buckets, who is behind the camera, and myself, we have a clothing brand. Uncivilizedstore.com is where we sell that clothing. We got a bunch of cool stuff on the website right now. So link in the description. You can go check that out um, at your leisure. Convenience. At your convenience. Buckets, anything? I'm getting a little, mm, nah, getting a little riled though. For sure. Diving in? Sure. Three, two, one, bang, bang. This is the Air Jordan 11 Low Cement gray these are set to release april 1st and retail is 185 bucks Was able to scoop this pair a few days early from the good people over at kicks are for us shouts to them they are a local resale shop down here in the tampa area appreciate them looking out you know we always try to bring you these early looks when we are able to do so help you make your purchasing decision or help make it a little easier i should say are they worth it are they not do we need to cop up? Is it an easy pass? We're gonna show you the sneaker and you can decide. I gotta say right out of the box, my own personal opinion, I actually like these a lot more than I expected to. I'm not typically a low top guy when it comes to Jordans. Not a low top fella, but something about the Jordan 11 low, it just does it for me. It screams spring and summertime, probably more summertime. It just, it gives me those vibes. And this colorway is crispy. There's nothing too crazy going on. It's cement gray, it's subtle. But then again, the Jordan 11 doesn't really need a bold colorway to make it stand out. That patent leather buckets, that patent leather is gonna hit every time. Every time. Every single time. And that's obviously the main feature on the sneaker. That is the first thing you notice, the first thing that jumps out. You also have this thick white mesh that we've become accustomed to with the Jordan 11s. I like it because it's more rugged. It's a little bit more durable than the standard mesh and I dig that. You've also got these individual eye stay panels that run along the side of the sneaker, a little leather patch on the back. 23 up top with that baby blue Jumpman logo embroidered underneath. You've got another baby blue hit on the tongue, gray ankle liner as you can see. You got the classic tag on the back of the tongue, quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever. Buckets, that's kind of you just put it right on the sneaker. So we call that a flex. Forget about your debates. I'm the GOAT. I'm the best player ever. There's no need to discuss it any further. Well, he's saying it's not debatable. Exactly. You will also notice this icy white midsole. You've also got the super icy outsole. Gray rubber on the heel. Same thing on the forefoot. A couple of these traction pods. And you've got the Carolina hit as well with the carbon fiber. 
This is a very clean sneaker. Like I said, I like them more than I expected, which I guess shouldn't really be a surprise to me because I do love the Jordan 11 low. Growing up, the Jordan 11 was my favorite Jordan by far. I think nowadays, Buckets, we've talked about it in previous videos. I think the Jordan 1, the Jordan 3, even the Jordan 4 are all silhouettes, all models that I wear more. They just go with my uh, my style a bit more now. The 11 though is always gonna kind of be at the top, kind of always be at the pinnacle because when I fell in love with Jordan sneakers, it was the 11 that I first fell in love with. First love, Buckets, it's how it goes sometimes. How it goes. You know, that elementary, that middle school love, it was the Jordan 11 for me. Now, I have been wearing the pine green fours almost exclusively and by almost, I mean, I've been wearing them every single day. So I'm probably gonna put these on ice for a bit, break them out in the summertime. Like I said, I don't know what it is about the 11 low. It's probably the nostalgia actually, because like I just said, when I fell in love with the Jordan 11, the Jordan 11 low, it was 2001 buckets. We were we young lads, New York City. And the 11 low, I feel like, you know how we talk about sneakers and music and how they can take you back to an exact point in time, point in your life? The 11 low takes me back to the 2001 summer. I mean, you had pink snake skin, the blue snake skin, you had the cherry pear, you had the citrus pear, you had the baby blue pear. It was just, ah, buckets. Can you feel it in your veins? Just, just pumping through your body right now. Uh, sure. Okay, you don't seem as excited as I am. The Carolina blue, low, the the highest it can be. Mutabella. Yeah, these are not those. No, no, these are not those. I wasn't trying to say that. I was just kind of, you know, going into the whole Jordan 11 low top thing. For sure. I actually prefer the actual 11 low. Oh, no, that's a terrible take. That overall, doesn't even look like the same sneaker. No, I, like, I've, I've blocked that out of my mind. Overall, those I like better, but the Carolina blue ones. That like reminds me of like some sort of like dirt bike shoe or something. No, I love those. No, the, those ain't it. No, no, those are awesome. Those ain't it. These are it. I'm going to give these a, I'm going to give them a uh, 8.3 out of 10. Wow. It's a beautiful sneaker. They're okay. I, I don't even want to hear what your score is going to be on these. So do you not want me to say? Six. Six out of 10. I, I feel like you've become like this, I'm just gonna be contrarian guy. No, that's not true at all. Th there's, there's nothing to not like about these. But there's nothing to like. Patent leather. It's now the one thing I will say, let me just say one thing. I was, I was on the sneakers app. I was reading the little, uh, you know, little spiel they give. And they said, hey, it's been 35 years since we introduced uh, cement gray as a color with the Jordan 3 and the elephant print and yada, yada, yada. That felt like a little bit of a reach, or I should say feels like a little bit of a reach trying to tie that in. It doesn't, to me, you don't need to always do that. I think sometimes they reach for the storytelling. When the storytelling is organic and it, it fits, then I think it's awesome. But just say, hey, listen, we're Jordan brand and we're dropping a very icy color for the summertime. Well, yeah, Jordan, Enjoy. Jordan brand's the king of the fake narrative. I don't know about the fake narrative, but it, it, it's definitely, I don't need the, the Jordan 3 tie-in to like these is my point. Okay, well, I don't need it and it didn't hit. Okay, didn't hit, swing and a miss. And the sneaker didn't hit for you. It's a six out of 10. No, oh, that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying. Okay. All right. They don't move you. They don't move me. Fair enough. Um, leave a comment below. Let us know. Do these move you? How do you feel about them? How do you feel about the Jordan 11 low, the colorways, Jordan brand in general? What is your favorite low top Jordan silhouette? Leave a comment below. Let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. Actually, that may not be true. We won't be back tomorrow. Yeah. Per se. But, you, but, but you can find us here. You can find us here. And uh, and we will be back soon, is what I'll say. Soon. Buckets edited in like a little, like some sort of creature peeking in. Not gonna do it. One eye.
soon. Adios. <laughs>